Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Paro again. Today we are going to see how we can tackle the request we get when we ask to install a particular policy or we ask to install a particular rule or we ask to install configure a particular rule and check uh, whether that particular rule is already existed in the policy rule base how you can tackle such sort of situations what steps you are going to take will be you know briefly uh, look into that so as you can see on my screen i have a demo environment and there is a uh, i mean sufficient policies configured on the environment uh, so out of this uh, i uh, for example, if I have a request coming from my uh, customer that, okay, uh, this is the source IP address, this is the destination, uh, this is the service, and say the firewall, uh, this is the firewall. We want to have a rule in place, you know, having this detail uh, intact. Uh, in a rule base or with the rules generally in an organization which are having multiple gateways and you know, multiple policy packages and you know, uh, you know the policy rules those contains like more than say 2000 rules in one package uh, how you can you know identify whether this particular rule what or requested from the customer is already existed or is there something you know uh, related to this rule is already configured uh, what if I configure this rule you know randomly somewhere uh, does that cause any issues so such sort of things uh, how you can tackle we are going to see uh, in this video so take this an example source destination uh, services so how you can you know look for the things consider uh, this is the policy package you have right now and you want to configure the role on this policy package uh, you have identified okay this is the corporate policy customer and uh, you need to have the rule for uh, this uh, on this policy package so what is the next step if you see on the uh, rule base there is some search bar present here this is your friend to search the things out of this policy rule base or uh, rules but there is a way to search the uh, uh, on this rule so for example uh, generally what people do they just come here they put uh, the source IP address and for example I'm giving the this IP address let me copy that okay then destination is any so let me put that straight away like destination is any And then the services also, uh, which is 80. So you can specify the port number or the protocol SDK. And if you search or if you just you know type into here, it will give you no output. Generally, this happens because when you specify the things uh, without you know one important notification here it 
searches for the you know entire string what is you have mentioned here and if it match accordingly it will give you result but if you don't match it will only give you result so looking at this you will consider okay this rule is not already existed okay and you try to you know implement that rule whenever i mean what are the location you possibly think but this is not the correct way here what you should do first if you click to this search bar you will see this option uh, let me show you okay this is okay if you click this search bar there is one option you will see which is this one packet mode and there is something on mention so come to this packet mode and make it on and then you can specify your source for example i'm copy pasting the same source and the destination is any or you give it in caps it's up to you uh, and the services here is AT, which is HTTP. And now, if you search this, you will get some output. And if you scroll a little bit down here, you will see all the packets which are matching the above communication is displaying so that means you will understand whether the above communication is already permitted above communication is already dropped or whatever the things happening with the above communication on your policy rule base for example, if you see the rule number four, this one, uh, this one, let me scroll it a bit, a little bit here. So source is any, destination is any, services is any, and the packet is accepted having this prime in place. So, what happens? These sort of rules, you know, cause the issue when you don't have any idea and you just configure this particular policy uh, anywhere. For example, usually what we do, we configure the policy, you know, before the last rule because we don't know whether it's conflicting in between anywhere. So, having such rule in place like this i just shown you it gives you error when you you know uh, try to verify the policy or push the policy to the gateway right so always try to have this mode enable which we call more packet and this is the newly added feature with the latest uh check one r80 versions of Gaia and accordingly you try to you know install the policy it will help you a lot and save you a lot of time to do the simple troubleshooting uh, with the you know rule base uh, so how uh, uh, you know uh, we can understand whether uh, this communication is, you know, allowing a drop in my packets. So important thing here, what you need to do when you come here at the menu, there is something called verify access control policy. You have to verify the policy. For example, if you are at a call for the gateway and you have configured something here, you have to verify this policy before pushing the policy what will happen it will verify whatever the rule you have configured 
or what are the things you have already existed there and based on that it will give you permission whether it's you know uh, allowable to install the policy or it is something some conflicts are there and after verifying those things you will come to know okay there is a conflict or there is all good and then you need to go ahead and install the policies if you are doing something changes with the database there is something called install database uh, for example you are changing a uh, uh, some sort of uh, IP addresses, uh, doing some you know, database related activities, you have to install the database as for your uh, the configuration with the management server. And finally, you need to install the policy uh, using the install policy feature. And here you you need to select. For example, you are, you are doing the changes on a corporate policy package, you just select the corporate policy package. By default, it will give you which gateway is aligned with and everything. You just have to select this and whatever the things you have configured, you have to install the policy from here, right? So I think uh, this is the video which will really help you in your real life work with the you know, firewall change request with the checkpoint firewalls. So if you like my video, please subscribe my channel, press bell icon, so let us see upload a video will come to you as soon as I upload them. Thanks for watching this video and have a wonderful day.